Okay, so we're gonna make Sierra here sugar skull. So uh, the first step that I do to making sugar skulls is I'm gonna take my Pro Air White and I'm gonna give it a nice light base coat around the areas that are gonna be the lighter colors. So we're gonna start with that. So now for the sugar skull, I'm usually going to give her um, a darker nose, so I'm not concerned about painting her whole nose white. So I'm going to just use my finger as a guide and give her a nose there. It's going to be a different color here in a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in the eye sockets now, and I use a lot of my fingers to um, guide myself here, and I find that this corner of your hand is very well built for the sockets of the eye. I like to shadows a little bit here in the corners for the jaw, where the jaw would separate for a traditional skull. We've got a cute stencil for later in there. I'm gonna use my hand here again. On this side, I'm gonna do the same thing here on this side. It only takes a second, and we're done with the nose there. Right up here, I'm going to give a little bit of a shadow, just as a little bit of the blue, because I have a stencil that we're going to pop in there. And then also, I like to do a little color on the chin. And you're just making sure the stencil is always in close contact with the skin. So if it's not in close contact with the skin, you can always walk your stencil with your fingers. You can always use your gun to press and to hold the stencil. I learned that with doing the uh, face painting. Sometimes you just need to walk it around with your hands. And we're gonna go and push this right here because I thought it would be a perfect fit, and it is. So I'm gonna line this one up, this swirl here, with her lips, so that when we do those tick marks for her lips, that it will line up with this. I'm just going to load this up on the brush, the palette that we use to pour it out in. I'm going to try to get a lot of it off of the brush so that I'm only working with a little. I'm going to have you turn this way. I'm going to go ahead and just line the eye here. A lot of the times when I do sugar skulls, I don't go all the way in. I might put some dots there or something. Remember I said I wanted to line those up so that they would match. That's what I'm going to go ahead and do, like a traditional skull there. 
then we're going to do our tick marks for our school. Sometimes on mine, I just kind of take the dark from the bottom up.